Yo guys, welcome back to another tutorial, um, voice reveal by the way, I know, I'm pretty cool, uh, yeah, I sound pretty sexy, yep, mm-hmm, hmm, um, anyway, so basically I'm going to be showing you how to do a Neptune glitch transition or one frame is whatever you want to call them, uh, this is only for DaVinci, so, uh, if you're an AE, you can keep on watching, it may be a little bit confusing though. Uh, anyway, um, yo, it is future me here, um, sorry to interrupt the video, but I wanted to say thank you for 300 subs, it honestly blows my mind that I was only at 100 subs 3 months ago, and clueless at editing, uh, and now I'm here today with how much subs, I, 303 subs right now, um, so yeah, um, I wanted to show my appreciation of we hitting 300 subs, so I did a tutorial, um, I don't do much of them, uh, <laughs> this tutorial is pretty ass, I'm re-watching it over and over again, it is so bad, anyway, yeah, so thank you, and let's get back into the video. So this is what it should look like, I'll show you a preview right here, so yeah, um, I want you to, uh, well, you need to have your clips ready, so I've got one, two, three. Um, I've got uh, the first one, so then you've got the like flow into the clip. Uh, yeah. Um, so you got your clips ready, transitions already done, uh, your effects, everything. And then you want to do the. Uh, you want to grab. Um, let me delete those. Grab your adjustment clip. I'm gonna pull mine out of here because it's just where I've got it. Um, you want to cut it down to one frame. Uh, you want to pull it, put it over uh, the first clip at the last frame. Uh, you want to open in Fusion, just like so. Um, just a reminder to you guys, if you guys uh, think I'm going too fast or anything, just let me know in the comments. I can uh, try to improve in my next tutorial. So yeah, back to the video. Um, so basically, what you want to do here is search up Edge Director. No, that is. Edge director, here it is. You wanna go to this option here. Um, change the color to whatever you want. Uh, I'm gonna go maybe like I'm gonna go dark bluish, something like that. Um, so yeah, and copy these settings. You can always mess with them. I just uh, doing a tutorial on mine though, so yeah. But here we go. So basically, we got the threshold. Turn that down a little bit, maybe, uh, let's tick it to like maybe 3, uh, 0 0.3 I mean, uh, smooth it out, uh, maybe tick it once, maybe drag it down a little bit, maybe 1, 0 0.115, yeah, looks, that looks good. You want to drag, uh, tick this 0 0.5, yeah. 0 0.5 I guess uh, brightness take it quite a lot maybe to just all the way up I guess um, then once you've done that you're basically done uh, you want to get your you want to oh sorry I probably didn't tell you at the start if you want to get to this select the tool um, you want to do control space and then you'll get it up um, what you want to to search uh, is uh, what's it called? Directional blur. Make sure you're choosing uh, this one, not the other one, because this one is bad in my opinion. Yes, you want to drag this on here by holding shift and left click. Uh, once you've done that, you want to um, mess with your settings. So basically, um, I normally go like. My, uh, oops. Let me try this. This might be easy. Okay, yeah. Maybe 0 0.5. Alright, maybe not 0 0.5. Just you can mess with them. It doesn't really need to be perfect. It needs to have like something like this. It needs to be something like that. Um, and then the last tool you want to use is uh, soft glow. Um, just like that. You can mess with the gain and everything. I'm probably gonna do something like that looks about right um you don't need to use soft glow that's just the different option if you do have um x glow it is a plugin what am i searching x, x glow here 
this is a different option. Uh, it does, uh, you need a, what's it called? Um, this is a plugin, so yeah, you can search up a tutorial. I might link it in the description if I can find one. But yeah, Xglow, it looks way better. Um, it looks closer to the AE version. Uh, for this tutorial though, I'm not gonna use Xglow because, uh, well, we're just, yeah, it's a, supposed to be no plugin video, so yeah. Um, but this is always an option, you can use this, I recommend it. Um, so basically you've done your first, uh, one framer. Um, I'm just going to hold alt and then duplicate that one. Uh, open this one up, by uh, right click it and go into fusion. Uh, delete all of this. Uh, and now, uh, you're gonna, sorry, you're gonna, I didn't explain. You need to put it over the first frame of the, uh, second clip. Just like this, um, and you want to control space, um, and switch up invert color, just like this. Um, it should look like something like this when you drag it on there. Um, after that, you want to get your CC node. So just search up CC. Uh, here it is. You can always just drag it from here, and it'll be the same thing. But yeah. Um, saturation. You want to turn all the way down. Maybe contrast up just a little bit. Are you scared? Yeah, something like that. Just copy my settings, so you can always mess with it. So you're done with this one as well. Um, I recommend for the transitions, uh, you want it to have like a very sharp uh, zoom out, uh, and also the motion blur needs to be all the way up uh, for the transition, so then it doesn't look like something like that yeah so you need to have like a kind of motion blurry kind of thing um this is the last um one framer just drag it onto the second frame of your last clip um, of your uh, second clip uh and here you are basically got the same settings as the first one but um you need to change the color so basically uh, you want to do a lighter shade of the color you just did so something like that maybe so it's like more you know kind of white um, the only difference here is uh, you need to uh, duplicate uh, doing control C on this node and then doing control V bring another one in there um, but you want to do the opposite so basically 0.2 five like that um you can turn up the glow a little bit i'm going to actually turn down the glow on this just so then you can get more of the color out of it for some reason it's not oh no it is maybe just turn up the turn down the gain and then turn up the glow thing up to where you want it to be so basically now you've done for your first uh Neptune glow. Alright. So basically, um in the video I think I used uh what did I use? I think I used pink. Yeah, sorry, we chose blue so go with pink here. Um keep the same settings that you had before. Um it's basically the same thing as this, so I copy and pasted it as you saw before. So you can keep this the same, uh, but then here, um, same thing, just change the color, so, uh, yeah, we're going to go lower, like, sorry, not change the color, change the shade of the color, so I'm gonna go, like, something like that, like a really light, light pink, nice looking pink. Um, and yeah, so that's basically the tutorial, uh, if you guys did learn something from this tutorial, or liked the tutorial please let, like and subscribe it would mean a lot to me and yeah it's basically it and see ya